Well, very good morning to you, Peter and Kiora Uh Like you said, we are outside uh, the Social Ngube South Campus in TUT, where students have uh, posed rather um, a peaceful protest. But Peter, just earlier on, we had scenes of another faction of students uh, who say that they want uh, the university rather uh, to open up. So it seems as if students here at TUT are somewhat divided. But I'm actually joined by Stembi Somnube, who's the chairman of PESMA here at TUT. Now, just tell us more about what's actually happening today. Thank you so much for joining us in ANN7. Take us and the viewers through what's actually happening today. Uh, thank, thank you, Noble Dota. Today you can see in, in not everything is normal in, in, in this case that you are in when I, when I, when I noble thoughts. But then, I, but then again, the, the, the issue that, that we are protesting against, it's a peaceful protest, by the way, to say we are engaging to, 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 to enhance the issues of students. At no stage in this campus that we are going to compromise students at large. We, we, we made sure that we, we, on Friday we, we submitted a memorandum to, to management that was supposed to be responded by now today, but they, 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 are, they, are, they, are taking, they are being arrogant and they don't take students serious. They never responded. Again, we are, we are simply saying in, in, in this manner, the university is going to op is not going to operate because to 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 few issues that we are facing, the one of the increment and and, and one of their student activists that are still facing charges that, of, of 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 a previous strike. So we are saying they must drop all those charges. And again, we're going to go to classes. As we are not hooligans here, we are students who want to study, as, as, as I pose noble thoughts. And then what about the other faction that says that they want the university uh, to operate as usual? But certain things, they don't make sense, if, 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 if you can be honest with, with you. You just saw them they blocking the roads. How can you say you are anti-strike while you are striking? It, 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 then it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. How can... How can you say you are anti strike? Well, you are, exactly, you are the one who, who chose the operations of the university. In fact, we never chose the operations of the university ourselves. They are the ones who are saying they are anti strike, but they are engaging in the strike. We, are, we, we told students that today we are going to march, process to the campus director of Prof. Gym, where we are going to get our response and we are going to disturb the DC that was supposed to sit. Uh, fortunate enough, it was postponed. But we are saying we are, we are done. We don't want this to postpone anymore. We are simply saying we want those churches to be robbed. Simple and clear, because they are even opening churches outside the campus. Then, in, in my logic, it, it, it simply says, if those churches are going to be dropped in campus, then automatically outside they are going to be dropped. Thank you, Honorable Todd. Okay. So, can you promise us that there will be no violence today? You, you talked about two groups who are divided. If, in the eventuality, they come here, what would happen? We cannot sangomize or prophesy the future of the revolution. When, when, when we are soldiers, we are, we are, we, we, you need to be able to be, to be stable wherever you are. You need to be ready for anything. But, but as, we, as I said before, we are engaging in a peaceful protest. But if there are those, there are, there are those who are trying to, 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 to engage with us physically, we are more than ready. Even ideologically, we are more than ready. We say they, they shall come, but we are not going to compromise issues of students with a minor issue. We are, we are saying the management must take us serious, must, must stipulate now, are they going to interest fees or are they not going to interest fees? Are they going to drop charges or are they not go going to drop charges as, as, as we move forward? And I, I'm, I'm glad my, 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 my fellow cadre here, Kilo, is here that we are, we are leading this revolution with. Is here, I think he, must, he, he can be in a position to stipulate certain things, as I pose noble thoughts. Let me just move on to Tabang. Tabang, if in the eventuality that the university says that, listen, we cannot uh, operate like this, fees must go up, what... What's going to happen? What is the stance from the students? As I've just highlighted earlier to say, this is a revolution where when we decided to embark, we were not excited. We understand this thing that it's a future of all of us. And I urge all students to say they must stop being misled because the people currently now have been agreeing with other people to say, we will try just to move peacefully. Each and every day there will be a normal <coughs> classes. These people won't be there in your future. We are saying any person who's going to become an obstacle to achieve this thing, this demand that we have enlisted in our memorandum, we are going to ensure that we remove that obstacle so that we can achieve a great future for all of us and for our children that are coming. So we are saying to the management, if they are already saying they are going to increase fees, because I've told them even to say they've been sitting, they had a two sitting of all vice chancellors, where our own vice chancellor, Comrade Lawrence, Prof. Lawrence Pastor Den, even said he foresee danger if this uh, next year there won't be a fee increment because TUT will only sustain itself for three months. And there was a certain information leak that they wanted a certain percentage, which currently now I cannot disclose. And the department recommended to all the institutions to say at least not exceeding 8%. 
And as I've told you before that, it is very difficult for us to identify who's the missing class. They are speaking a certain English that we cannot understand. What we pleaded with the management was said, you can't say you haven't said and taken a decision. We are guided by yourself when you did a proposal to the Department of Higher Education well, well, to say we do not, please can you bear with us to say fees must not increase. But the Department of Higher Education said in consultation with the Department of Finance, the Treasury said they don't have money. That's why the struggle is not going to end here. When they increase fees, we are going to go to all spheres of the government and we are not saying we are anti-progress for our people who don't want them to write but we are saying management must sit now and discuss the issue of fee increment because we knew the attendance of sitting around exam actually they are the ones who don't want exam to be written because they will take a decision around november to say we decided to increase face and you agree that prevention is better than cure now it's now or never. It's our generation that can implement these changes and liberate our people. And just yeah. earlier, Adi was saying you that um, most students here at Sashanguve or TUT aren't really under NAFSA, so these fee hikes actually will affect you guys. That's why even if you can check, if they were saying they were beneficiaries of NSFAS, we were not going to see a long queue each and every year negotiating their outstanding fees. Because I believe that the same NSFAS that they claim that is a bazaar, even when it is a loan, actually of saying these people are beneficiaries, they are wrong. They cannot lie. I even asked them, do you know the stats of the NSFAS people? Because even now, NSFAS, I can give you a scenario, just a small scenario of saying, the NSFAS people are saying, they haven't even looked on the people who did appeal. We had a problem in January of saying, someone's result never came out. Already NSFAS, when they were accepting, they were rejecting those people that they are no longer qualifying. When re-exam results came out, the person is qualifying, but is falling under the process of appeal. And NSFAS that's why I say they don't have a budget because even the institution, they forced the people to say those who uh, had outstanding fees around uh, from 2013 up until now, they must come. Their issues will be well addressed. But what we saw, I can give you a practical example. A friend of mine came back. He failed to register last year. But when he came back to, uh, this year to say, I'm, those, those, I'm within those people that you have requested to say, come back. When he arrived here, he was told to pop out 4,000 before they can allow him to register, which we are saying it is now or never. Victory is certain. Now or never, let's just bring another person to the play. Any students who want to talk to us? Uh, I say Sir? that they can fund free education as long as they can give one man 11 million as a bonus. How can they not find a student here at TUT? At primary school, secondary level, you have free education. So what about our varsities? We need free, equal education. That's all we're asking for. As long as black men can eat a sushi on top, a naked woman, that means they have money. They can find their free education. How do you suggest funding for free education? You know, I feel like the government is dividing the students because it's from the top. If they, were, if they have our future in their hands and their interest in, our, in, in their future, they would, would not want us to strike. It's simple. We don't want fee increment. We're already poor. We're already in debt. We cannot pay fees. If we increase fees, what must we do? Where must we go? Why is South Africa want us to be in, indebted every day when a person can have a loan to buy a GTI? They want them to indebt us. Why can't they give us fees? We want free education. It was promised to us. 94 Mandela did promise this thing to us that we're going to have free education. Why is not the promise fulfilled now? Thank you so much. Our mindset is that this is a national call. So we don't want to be seen as the sellout of the student since this thing came from the national call. So we are saying we are joining in, solid in solidarity. We are pleading with our own students. We are pleading in solidarity with VET, UJ, UP, and all those institutions that they are striking. This is a movement of the students, and we are not going to be sellouts. A national shutdown of all institutions of higher learning. Uh, our parents have also told us that they are pledging solidarity with us, and they are saying soon they are going to join us, meaning that uh, even your shop rights and your pick and pay workers will be staying away from their workplaces to pledge solidarity with fees must fall. We are going to carry this through. We are not going to retreat. We are not going to surrender. We are going to go and go up until fees must fall. Until, up until fees fall, excuse me. Well, the university this morning resolved to spend classes at the Pretoria Arcadia Arts 
Shoshong Gube Karanko and Imalaki campuses. And this decision was taken in the interest of the safety of staff and students and also to protect property. We are monitoring the situation on an ongoing basis and the South African police is also on standby to assist.